Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how I make um, window pots, flower pots for the windows. All right, this is one that I just, I just finished making. And I have two other sizes that I want to show you, but I'll give you the dimensions for all of them. So this one here is one inch by four and three quarters of an inch long. Okay. Then you measure the bottom of it in one quarter of an inch and mark it on either side. And then you cut from that marking up to the corner on each side. Okay. So let's, let's go ahead and cut that one first. So this is four and three quarters by one inch wide. And this is wider than that, so we'll have to do this. Okay, so four and three quarters by one inch wide. Okay, so this is the size that you start with, okay? Then you're gonna move in about a quarter of an inch. So I'll do it exact this time. So just right there and right there. Okay, so you just mark it one quarter of an inch in and then you're gonna snip from that marking up to the corner. From this corner down to that marking. Okay, then make sure you can either turn it over or make sure you, can, you erase those little marks. Okay, we don't need these little bits and pieces here so we can throw those away. So now we've got our base to make this. Okay, so we've got that one. And then for the next one, we're going to need three quarters of an inch wide and three and three quarters of an inch long. So let's cut that one. So three and three quarters of an inch long and three quarters of an inch wide. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mark a little quarter of an inch in. And then we're going to cut from that marking up to the corner. From that corner down to the marking. Okay, so that's the second size. Okay, so now we have the third one, which is three and three quarters wide by two and three quarters length. So two and three quarters. There you go. So you've got two of them that are the same width. Okay, and then again, we're going to do the slant at a quarter of an inch. So there's a quarter of an inch, and here's a quarter of an inch. And we're going to snip that from the quarter of an inch up to the top. And then from the top corner down to that quarter of an inch marking. Alrighty, so now we've got the smallest one. Okay, so then we don't need these. Then all we need is for the top one, then I think they were an eighth of an inch or a quarter. Okay, so for the top one, we need three strips that are a quarter of an inch wide. So let's take this and see if we can get, and they don't have to be exact. You just want them approximately a quarter of an inch. Okay, so this looks like it's a little bit, a little bit less than three quarters of an inch, but that's okay, I'm gonna use it anyways. So you can just mark and mark and make it look, try to get it in thirds the best that you can. And then on this one, mark and mark. Let's see if we can get that in on the thirds. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Then cut those strips, line one side up to the other side, cut that strip, and then line one side up to the other side. Come on, Barbara, your hands are shaking. Okay, and then cut that strip. All right, so that top one's the only one you really need to, to measure. Um, the other ones, the next two are I just cut real, real skinny strips. So, and I think these are like an eight, yeah, they're an eighth of an inch thick wide, okay? So you need three one-eighths of an inch pieces for the middle size one and three for the small one, okay? So I've got a couple extra here. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue these on. Okay. So, and what I did with this one was I went ahead and I put Wink of Stella on it first. So just because it looks pretty. So squeeze some Stella out and then just rub that on. I think I'm running out of Wink of Stella in this one. Okay. Just because that gives it a little bit of pretty glitz to it. That looks nice. Okay. All right. So then you're going to glue these three strips on. And they're going to overhang. You want them to overhang so that way you can, because we're going to trim them off afterwards anyways. So go ahead and put glue down the center of one of them. And then pick it up and you're going to line one up at the top, butt it right up against the edge. Okay. The next one you're going to put right at the bottom. I can hear the choo-choo train. Coming in, coming in from New York. New York. <laughs> okay. And then this one. And they don't have to be exact. Mine, honestly, are different sizes because I just kind of cut them. And it looks like I could actually put more on here because I didn't do them wide enough. So I think I'm going to do that. Why not? Let's add this one on. <laughs> so I guess we do want them about a quarter of an inch. That's kind of cool. All righty. Will that fit? Yep. But you don't want them quite a quarter of an inch because this is only three quarters of an inch. So if you cut three that size, they're not going to fit on there. They need to be just shy of a quarter of an inch. There, that'll work. Okay. So let's cut this. Some slits for that one. Alrighty. And that one is three and three quarters. Alright. So three and three quarters long. And then we need this is three quarters. Right, that's a little bit more than three quarters. So I'm going to cut it at three quarters and then I'm going to cut a little sliver off. Cut it down a little bit more than three and three quarters or three quarters rather. There. Okay. So I cut it down to three quarters and then I just cut one little sliver off. So look at this sliver. One real little sliver. I don't, I, I think that might no, it's just a little bit less. It's about two-thirds of an eighth of an inch. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to split this in thirds. One, two, three. Looks good. One, two, three. Looks good to me. Okay, so then we just need to trim this apart. There's one. and third pieces. Alrighty. There, so now we have the three pieces for this one. Okay. And that looks much better. Okay, yep. Alright, so let's get some Wink of Stella on this one. And if you don't have Wink of Stella, then you can actually make Wink of Stella by just using alcohol, rubbing alcohol from the Dollar Tree, and a, lit, a couple drops of glycerin, so there's something to hold it down once it dries, and then some very fine glitter, just a wee little bit. All right. Okay, so that one's done, so now we need to glue these babies on. One, two, three. So put glue going across those. So here's one. And I actually did, I bought my first Wink of Stella. And now that it's almost empty, then I've seen online that if you just refill it with 
some alcohol, then it will pull out the rest of the, the glitter that's in there for you. And then you can replenish your stash. After you use that up, then you can go ahead, oops, slide down. Okay. Yeah. Oops. So after you do that one time, replenishing your the alcohol in there, then you need to start actually mixing up the three ingredients. Wow, that's real close. Okay, but that's okay. Move that over. You just need a little tiny bit of room in between. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and we're going to trim along the edge. So trim it the same, following the same cut line. There you go. And this one, the same cut line. I haven't done one like this with the skinnier pieces. Oh, that looks okay. It looks better with the with the just three, the three wooden panels, faux wooden panels, I guess I should say. Whoops, I just stuffed that all over my lap. Okay. Alrighty. So now, whoops, I guess we can do this one. So let's get that wink still on this one. Oh, I can hear it squirt now. It's squeezing air out. Oh, that's funny. Wow. Okay, now there's some glitter coming out. Ooh, look at all that. Well, that's a cabaza. Okay, I definitely need to replenish that. Okay, so we've got those three. And while that's drying, we can go ahead and start putting glue on these. up on the top from the one corner over to the other corner all righty and then this one goes across the bottom and this one goes across the middle Nice, okay. Oh yeah, this one, the Winged Stella looks much better on because I got a, the right amount on this one. Okay. And this idea I got because somebody years, 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 years ago um, sent me a rack and it had a set of these three and I still have it. I've never used it. Where did I put it? Put it over here. I've never used, oh, here they are. I've never used them because I wanted to, because then they'd be gone, that's why. So now I'm thinking, all right, so I can go ahead and I can use them now because now I know how to make them. Isn't that neat? All right, so now to put the dots on, these are just little stickers that they have on here and they've, they're falling off now. So I did use for this one, I found this duct tape, this silver duct tape at the Dollar Tree. And that, it does work, but it's kind of a pain in the rear because when you punch it, then it, it catches on this release paper. And so, oh, of course, now this time it worked fine. Oh no, no, it didn't. Okay, so it's still on here. Yep, here it is. All right, so the release paper comes off, but the silver circle stays on there. So then you have to fiddle with it. But this one needs a new one. So I'm going to put this one on there. There. 
And I need one more for that one. So see, it's just staying right on there. Come on, let go. Oh, great. Now it's stuck under my fingernail. <laughs> okay. Whoop. What side is the glue on? I believe that's the side that the glue is on. Okay. All right. So if you have silver paper, then cardstock, especially that would work really good. Um, but I do have these little tiny nail gems that are silver and they're actually dome shaped. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these as my little nails. So I'm gonna dump these out there. And then you just need one, one little faux nail at the end of each board. So there's three. One, two, three. Okay. And I need this picker upper. Oh, that's a lot easier doing it this way. Nice. I'm sure you could also use a silver gel pen or metallic pen if you wanted to, if you had one of those available. That works perfect. All right, so that one's done. So there's an off-white one. I made a white one and an off-white one. Okay, so then this one, I'm not seeing that Wink of Stella very good in there. Where did my Wink of Stella go? Right there. I know you're pointing at it when it's right there in front of you. So I'm trying to get that down in between, which that worked. Very good. Hold your hands still, Barb. There, okay, much better. Alrighty, so then we're gonna do three little dots of glue. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And turn it around and do one and two. And three. Nice. Okay. This one I'm not really liking because it has too many. So I don't think I'm even going to use that one. I think I'm just going to make a different one. But you have seen how to make this now. So now you know for the big one, you need one inch by four and three quarters of an inch long and the one quarter of an inch in at the bottom for the slant, okay? And then one quarter of an inch strips to line that, to line up on there. The next size down, then you need um, three quarters of an inch wide by three and three quarters of an inch long, okay? And then the slant at one quarter of an inch. The smallest one, you need three and a quarter inch wide and two and three quarters inch long with a quarter of an inch slant. And then these two need one eighth of an inch, a little bit less than one eighth of an inch wide, three panels. Okay, so there you go. That's how you make flower boxes. What do you think of that? I like that idea. And picture these in brown or tan, or black, or blue. So, alrighty, I hope you like this idea. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.